Cheers, guys. Looks like Android users just can't get enough of Instagram. The Android version of the photo sharing app only launched on Google Play yesterday and has already been downloaded 1 million times in less than 24 hours. It also experienced 2,000 signups per minute. Instagram already has more than 30 million registered users on the iPhone and iPad. The app lets users apply filters over photos they've taken and share them with friends across Facebook and Twitter. Fancy getting up close and personal with the Mona Lisa? Well, now you can, thanks to Google. The tech giant has expanded its, its, its collaboration with the world's major museums and galleries. Users can now examine art and artifacts from 151 museums in 40 countries, all from the comfort of their own home. But will online viewing ruin the real thing? I think when the whole idea of uploading museum quality images online first surfaced, there was a lot of concern. Would this detract from the thrill or the experience of the original? The truth of the matter is that what we are seeing over time is that the more you can be prepared for the experience of the thing itself, the more thrilling it becomes. Kindle is already known for its pretty amazing battery life, but now it can be even better. The world's first solar-powered case for Kindle has hit the market. The new cases promise three months of reading time, all powered by the sun. The case works with the standard Kindle or Kindle Touch and will set you back around 60 euro. Now, a buzz story for over 18s only. Check out the head on this pint. A Japanese company has invented a frozen foam that keeps your beer cold for half an hour. Ishiban Shibori Frozen Draft is essentially frozen beer foam chilled to minus 5 Celsius. Foam acts as a lid for your beer. And what's better is when you've drained your glass, it can be eaten like a sorbet. The bad news, it's only been launched in Japan for now.